Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. This video is all about this bag, which is my hand quilting bag. So if you wanna see what I carry when I'm quilting on the go, please stay tuned. Someone recently asked me in one of my videos what I take with me when I am hand quilting. I usually, um, I don't, don't hand quilt a lot, but lately these last few projects, my great grandmother's quilt and some uh, pieces that needed to be bound uh, by hand. I've been carrying those with me and working on them on the go. I've packed a little bag. Um, it's nothing really special and it's kind of, um, impromptu like i realized i needed the stuff because i forgot it another time or something like that but it's a really simple um little package and so i'll share it with you here in this video this is a bag that i made years and years ago like when i first started making bags um and so i also use it as a project bag right here it has a label from when i entered my uh quilt in the georgia national fair the label is still on here i have not even taken it off yet um i will soon i guess because why not um and so i started putting my um projects in here as i go so my great grandmother's quilt was in here for a little while the uh rich heritage quilt was in here as i was doing the binding and then like the um i don't think i did the rainbow trip around the world in here um but like whatever i'm working on I can just slide it in here and um and just be ready to go currently i um i found something over on my shelf that i thought was finished a long time ago it is not and the only thing i have to do is put a little hand binding on it this is a wall hanging that i made um it's called this block is called the goose tracks block and I will link the uh, the video for this block here. What I did was I got my block a day book and I randomly like opened a page and picked a block and this is it. And so it, this is just a little wall hanging. Like I said, I thought I had finished this years ago, but if you look on the back, it is not bound. So I stuck it in here um, for the purposes of this video to make this video, but also I'm keeping it in here so that as I go, I can actually get it done. So hopefully um, it can be done really soon, like this week, probably will take about an hour or a little over an hour to do it. Okay, so I have the project, whatever I'm working on in the bag. Now, the only other things, um, there are only four things I carry in here. So let's talk about what's in here. And then I have one more, I guess it will be like a wish list item or a suggestion item, something like that. So first we'll start with needles um i know there's probably a better way to store these needles but this is the um i got these sharps and i think they are size seven i'll bring them up um i got them at joann's um and there's like 20 in here and usually one of them is in my um in the project but the needle that's currently in the goose tracks project is short and thick so I think after the thread runs out, I'm going to swap it for one of these because I really like these. I also have my thread, whatever thread I'm using. I prefer the Coates and Clark that comes on this really giant spool. Um, and I usually use a light gray, but I also have a um, like a like cream or white or whatever. But usually the light gray is my choice because it's really neutral and it goes with everything. I wish I could know, I wish I knew the name of the color. I think it's steel, maybe, I don't know. Um, but I usually, I have this with me or whatever thread color I'm using in my project. When I did the uh, Rich Heritage quilt, my coin quilt, I was using a purple variegated thread uh, to do the binding. But this is my normal staple, okay? And then the only other two things I have in here I have a small pair of snips. This is not even like an expensive pair, um, but this is, I got it in like a, a set, 
that had the scissors and these snips. So just a little simple pair of snips. Um, if you have the little embroidery scissors, that would probably work as well. These are a little bit bigger. And um, I'll be completely honest, when my mom worked at a sewing factory, she had a pair of snips that looked just like this. They were pink and everything. So um, when I saw these in the store, it reminded me of my mom. And so I bought them. So these stay in the bag. And then my last thing is my thimble. And this is one of the, I think it's a Clover brand thimble. It was gifted to me. And I am not, was not, a thimble person and my mom was telling me um you know years you need to get a thimble you need to get a thimble and then i had the metal one and it was too big but this one it seems to fit, fit perfectly on my finger and i like that it has the silicone here and then the metal here to help push the um the needle through the fabric it's like game changer and then now that i've been using it if I don't have it, I am really concerned and freaking out because I need my thimble. So um, a really simple go bag. This is all I carry with me along with whatever the project is that I'm working on. Now I did suggest, or I did say I had one more suggestion slash wish list item. Um, what I would really like um, is some kind of portable light. I have one, but it kind of goes around my neck and it's not, it's not ideal. So I think I'm going to be in the, in the market for something like that. I've seen like those forehead lamps and those seem interesting, but just some kind of light because whenever I'm out and about the lighting might not be, um, appropriate for the up close sewing that I need to do. Also, my eyes are not quite as young as they used to be. So, um, just to have a little bit more light, I think would really help in certain situations. So I would love to know if you have any suggestions for some good lighting that I can look into, that would be great. Um, if you have any other suggestions about what needs to go in the go bag, leave them in the comments below. Questions as well, leave them in the comments. Thumbs up this video, share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.